Sky, I'm not too sure how well the microphone on my laptop will pick this up, but virtually for, I don't know, that last week, most, most of the last week, actually I think it's before, about a month ago anyway, I spent about a week making my own guitar. I found I just saw a YouTube video and thought, hey, that would be cool to make, because I've personally, the guitars, the new chord joints are my favourite instruments to play, that's why I put them up. But I've played the guitar the whole of my life before. Because I can play the guitar, I wonder if I can make one. So I've been looking up like cigar boxes. You have to make, I am a bit of a hillbilly. So, I, so I, spent, I spent the best part of the week making it, handcarved. The best thing is, I only didn't need the budget for, for £15, which is a bonus. And now that's it. Now it's just for the tuning pegs. That's the only thing that gets hard to me. I had all the rest sitting around in the shed. I'm, I'm in garage. Not really a shed. <laughs> I mean, it's made up for it again. It's big. <laughs> well, a mini factory actually. But yeah, it's been, it's been the best part of the week there, making it. And so yeah, all the 15 pounds I spent on the tuning pegs. I think of course that would give some ones to the only ones we could find. And I found some old strings from previous guitars, shall we say. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure how, again, I'm not sure too sure how well they might sound up, but it's got a good sound. I've tuned it to EE, -E, so you've got an octave here. Okay. I have to get it really close to the microphone just in case. I've got an octave here. Octave it low, low E. And then you've got high E. Just tuned to EU, that might be a little bit out of tune because I haven't tuned it for ages. I have, well, actually, personally, I haven't actually touched it for a couple of days. But yeah, I copied, copied the fret markings from a um, an old scrap that my granddad had laying around. Copied the fret markings out and put it next to each other and not to make it precisely the ruler. This is the one thing that handcrafting and woodwork. Measurements have to be precise. I mean, take it from me, I'm not sure I'm stuck in the background, you can see. And the ground I've got, which is just behind me. There. That one over there, that tall thing. I made that myself. So, take it from my experience, yes. You do need to measure that for me. Um, but the one thing I am concerned about it is, it's starting to fire. And I've forgotten the point that I've made, so I'll just <laughs> go ahead and play. So, um, yeah, I've See the tuning pegs there, the machine heads. I don't know going to take an older and classical guitar apart, but couldn't because the way on a classical guitar, I'm not sure I've got one hand, now we get it, but on a classical guitar, instead of the tuning pegs going up through like that, you know, they're on a classical guitar that go through. And the tools that we had, we didn't have a big enough drill to make the hole to go through that way. Rotten, but yeah, so I just went with an easy option and did that. So I made it and I found it, but then I realised the strings were literally about that high of that, so I had to stick a screwdriver in or just press really hard with a screwdriver on there or I can slide here and really hard to get a note. Plus, also, if you press one, it didn't sound the same because where the wood's not exactly accurate. So, what I did the next day, I went up there chopped about that much off the end where I see where the head drive is but it's not exactly perfect because we had to chisel it out because the saw broke. Yes, and they one thing to fail the saw. Broke, so we had to ch yes, then I had chisel in that chisel in that out by hand. So yeah, did that. Anyway, this, and then apart from that that went bad enough. The strings were also too high and you couldn't get an out. So what we did those two little screws, we put them in the top, the top string, strings in, so I'm not extended really high. Plus also it's still knocking around about, around about there when you press the note. So we did, once we added, got screwing up, added them, that just like flex strings, I've got haircuts, but that added like a bridge, that works. But yeah, it's, it's really playable, I mean, I really, really like the cigar box guitar, but 
I looked for literally all online and the stuff that was in my budget point at the time I had 20 quid. And all the stuff that was in my budget point, I couldn't really afford it. So I thought, you know, I'll go one step further and make it yourself. But that way, personalised. And one thing that I will say is if you really want something and you don't have the money to do it, make it yourself. Take it from me, trust me. Anyway, that's the talking I've spent the best part of five minutes talking to me. Anyway, I'm looking at my play, I've got so many couple of seconds. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm not sure if you picked up, but basically what I was doing was, you could do this on a normal guitar or a cigar box, it depends, but yeah, if you've got one there, and what, all I'm doing is, I'm playing second fret and first fret with both strings, so I go, if you're sort of doing a slide, up to there. Yeah. And the pattern is, Sort of like that. But then, what do you got? You slide up to the fifth fret, both strings. You crawl up from the second fret to the first fret. And you do the If you, if you add a bit of like spice, a bit of jazz, but what I, I find it's not for more metal, definitely. So you've got a load of guitar thing, more and more. <laughs> but if you can add some, if you want to add some fancy bits, so you can slide all the way up to, right up to here, and the straight edge would be the two, that, two dots there. So that's probably, I don't know, on the top for it. Um, all the way to the strip. And give it like a little bit of wow 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 sound. Well, just wiggle your finger. Yeah. Or if you want to play classic style, you can go. thing I do oh you can't see my face <laughs> the one thing that I do regret is not actually putting a resonator in it. I paid my own double bass and that I did experiment with a resonator the one thing I did on this is not to put a resonator on so yeah the one thing to do all kinds of amazing put a pig squealer which is a type of pickup you can get put it sort of along there under that so you can still get a little bit of sound from it but really this wasn't really like a thing that I made to go old thing busking but sort of a thing to mess around on. So yeah. Anyway. The next one is 